We are projected to get five to seven inches of rain in a storm tonight. It's going to be a massive dumping due to a nor'easter that's hanging out over New England. I'm putting swales in place. Let's see if I can catch, slow and store some of that water. I have shared a video about how I measure contour for swales and how I dig them out. And this is the one that I dug out over the winter time behind me. We're expected to get five to seven inches of rain in a massive storm this evening. And so I figure I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of all that water, slow it down and get uh, some more swales in place for water collection. It's a little humid, <laughs> I'm sweaty. I dug out this one here. And you can see as I walk up here, this is a path that the horses take up into the pasture. And so because it's so well beat down, there's a lot of water flow that comes through here. That's what I'm trying to take. So I have a small one on this pathway here that will um, hopefully slow some of the water on the way down. The rest will accumulate in that larger swale there. And then I dug out this one behind me here, which leads to this pond area that's naturally forming. And so I figure if that's where the water wants to accumulate, I'll go ahead and create the first swale and uh, hopefully we'll have a little holding place there. So now we have uh, the first original swale I showed you that I've linked to in my videos before. Now we have swale number two over here with the naturally forming pond. Swale number three, as mentioned already. And swale number four, which is just adjacent to the pre-existing swale here. And I left this walkway because that's where the horses can go without fear of them trampling the swale structures or twisting a leg. Let's see if we get some rain tonight. All right, the storm is passed. I'm heading outside right now to check on those new swales I just installed. Let's see how we did. Okay, got some water run off that direction. Let's go. Yes. We caught it. There's the original swale, full. Caught some water here. Good. Slowed and caught it here. redirected it to a pond there. <laughs> what do you think, X? Okay, these three tiers definitely slowed and uh, caught some of that water. Looks like I'm gonna have to make a swale going the opposite way though, because I still see a lot of water runoff coming from the opposite side of that brush. Let's go check on the original swale. Not everyone is into water catchment or even land management for that matter. The reason I do it is because we live on a hillside, the whole entire homestead with my house at the base of the hill. Um, so that being said, all this water runoff rushes down. It causes basically flooding from all sides in severe weather. So what I'm trying to do is store it because New Jersey has started seeing horrible droughts in the summertime, which is crazy because we're usually considered a wet climate. There's that swale we just visited. This is the downside. See how there's some grass growing there? It never used to look like that. It was a swampy, muddy mess. So even if I wasn't interested in storing water for my own use in my gardens and growing spaces, it's just the right thing to do from a land management, it's just the right thing to do from a land management stewardship perspective so that I can get grass in those areas. It's in my horse um, grazing space. It makes them more comfortable. Hey, it's okay keeps them comfortable, keeps them healthier because then they don't up with as much moisture and their feathers on their feet. It works. 